तो एलिजिबिलिटी इज नॉट डिसाइडेड एज दे हैव नॉट रियली फिक्स इट दैट द पीपल हु आर हैविंग अ जीपीए ऑफ 3.5 एंड अबव विल गो फॉर विल बी अलाउड फॉर द वर्क टर्म इट रियली डिपेंड्स अपॉन द हाउ वी आर बीइंग ग्रेडेड Hi Vinit thank you so much for joining in welcome to my channel uh, before we jump into the questions that i have for you if you can quickly introduce yourself to our viewers hi sagar thanks for uh, inviting me so hi everyone this is vinit armani and i'm from uh, delhi and uh, currently i'm studying uh, cyber security and threat management from sanika college in toronto and um, talking about when i arrived in canada uh, i arrived in canada in april shortly uh, before india's flights were halted and uh, i was fortunate to land at a canadian soil right on time uh and i'll uh, start talking about my uh, education so i studied computer science engineering from university of petroleum and energy studies in dehradun and uh, where i was uh, hired by hyderabad based uh, aviva solutions uh, which is a based out of um, uh, it is a uk based company oil and gas company and i worked there as a test engineer for 4 years and later when i decided to uh, move to deloitte so uh, i was hired by deloitte as a senior quality control engineer and i worked there for 4 years yeah that's about me so we need to start it off my first question to you is why did you decide to take this program or in other words if i have to put it what drove you to take the academic path even after having such a vast professional experience um thanks agar thanks for putting across that questions well that's an interesting question so this questions i this question i have been asked a lot so um in my opinion uh, there is no age limit for learning or improving one's uh, knowledge in any field um, like however i always wanted to broaden my expertise and diversify my portfolio which is why i came across seneca's unique graduate certificate program that is cyber security and threat management so and as i mentioned earlier i worked as a senior quality control engineer um the team which i was working with was deloitte forensics um and i was working with the e discovery practice and while uh, while i was working there during my tenure i did quite a lot of projects on penetration testing and cyber security so uh, as a result i had gained um, experience in the industry and i always wanted to delve deeper into the subject and understand more about it that's how i uh, found this course in seneca where they structured the course in a very unique way and the uh, subjects were really a- uh, aligned to the industry knowledge that i gained so uh, that's when i decided that i should go for this uh, academic path even after having experience so i would recommend for all those people who have the experience of like 3 to 4 years or even more than 5 years um they just choose your domain wisely i mean like if you want to really go for a uh, Uh, for the studies just go for uh, for, for a domain which is quite specialized just like i choose uh, i chosen um cyber security uh, if you want have interest in cloud if you have interest in uh, data science is just uh, you know do your research and find a program accordingly and go for it yeah. all right we need to so going forward if you can tell us a little bit about the program itself like what kind of subjects do you get uh, in the curriculum and the length of the program the fees uh, just an overview which can help our viewers Sure. Um, I, you guys can all uh, go through the Seneca website uh, about the courses and the program structure, but uh, that's a very high level uh, subjects they have listed. But um, I'll just walk you through uh, really uh, a, a kind of introduction to what the subjects all about. Probably can uh, you can have an interest over which subjects suit you the most, and you can it can help you um, you know decide your domain which domain you want to. enter into after you qualify after you are done with your graduation probably once you go to the job market and probably it will help you kind of search for the right fit for the job so uh it's a two semester program with an optional work term so the work term is a similar in the length to an academic semester and typically involves a full time work hours that may be paid or unpaid so uh I'll give you a little idea about the work term here. So only eligible candidates are uh, can go for the work term. So uh, eligibility is not decided as they have not really uh, fixed it that the people who are, are having a GPA of 3.5 and above will go for will be allowed for the work term. It really depends upon the how we are being graded. But I would give you a very high level idea that uh, 
top 5 to top 10 are only selected for the work done and uh, not everyone will get the co-op so uh, this is the thing that i came to know while i was studying so uh, just make sure that you are aware about this uh, about this point uh this is a follow up question uh, we need on that uh, do you do you get a lot of assignments yes so uh, talking specifically about seneca uh, they are really uh, strict on the assignments and um, we, we do get a lot of since it's a 8 months course and i, I don't really complain about getting a lot of assignments so we have lot to cover in a very short uh, short duration so um, it's really important that we should understand the tool we should understand the technology so the assignments give us a real time idea how are we implementing what we have learned during lectures so um, assignment definitely help us in you know understanding the subject so according to me it's a good thing that we are having a practical exposure as well and during the time of this pandemic we are working virtually and we are connecting virtually so um, it, it's a different uh, altogether a different mode of learning and working but eventually it's really important for the people who want to build their career in cyber so we need my next question to use are there any certifications that you're planning to take uh, in the future after you're done with your course or even like between your studies right now i don't have much idea about the certification with certification i should go for but um, there are a couple of certificates which are in my mind i'm definitely would want to uh, um, want to uh, you know certified and uh, one of those is the comptia plus this is one of the most uh, high ranking certification in the field of security then is the defensive security certified professional oscp and uh, one of uh, the other one is a certified information system security professional cissp so uh, these all certifications require a couple of years of industry experience um, and one more is certified ethical hacker ceh ceh doesn't require really um, industry knowledge but all of the certifications which i mentioned earlier require a little bit of industry knowledge and i would really recommend for people who want to go for this certification just have some industry knowledge cyber security experience in industry and go for these certifications yes so yeah this is about certifications and I'm really looking forward to uh, you know get certified to one of these. So we need uh, soon after completing your uh, program you will be stepping into the Canadian job market and uh, so my question is what kind of job titles would you be targeting at uh, considering your your work experience uh, whatever you have from India and uh, so what kind of job titles or job uh, duties would you be targeting? um yeah for for this questions i would really be uh, specific as in everybody has a different um they're coming from a different background they, they have different set of experience so uh, there are people who would be really fresh to the industry there would be people who have their for the who have their prior experience in um in, in the corporates and they have done which is work similar to what you have been studying for people who have been to a very generic role of a development for a testing for uh, for an administrator so um for me since i have experience of over 7 years and i have uh, the majority of experience in qa so in the qa uh, then qa automation then qa um, uh, manual testing then penetration testing and a uh, couple of experiences i have in devops and cloud so uh, i would really want to go for a course sorry for for the title of a penetration tester because that really aligns with my a uh, previous job and i have done the projects of penetration tester so i've gained a lot of experience in the penetration testing so i would go for a senior penetration tester i would go for a cyber security consultant i, I would go for a security uh, senior security tester or um, there's something of uh, something of sort of wherein uh, you want to go for a security administrator you want to go for a cloud security specialist you want to go for something on a specialist role uh, in the market after doing from the after doing this course so uh people are really fresh uh, goes to usually goes to the analyst role so analyst role uh, vary from threat analyst cyber security analyst you go from ethical hacker penetration tester so these are the entry level roles when you are uh, graduated so um this the, this is what uh, basically if you are uh, if you have any experience of a of a corporate before you can uh, go for a course which where you are as a senior associate and uh, for people who are really fresh and have just studied and fresh from from the college they can go as an analyst role of information security threat or ethical hacker or penetration test
All right, Vineet, wonderful. Thank you so much, uh, Vineet, for Thanks your time. Sir. Really appreciate it. I wish you all the best. I hope soon I'll be making a video on how Vineet got a hundred k for uh, for your job <laughs> in Canada. So yeah, wish you a lot more success. Thanks, Sagar. Thanks a lot for inviting me. Wish you all the best.